It has been a busy summer at animal shelters across the metro, and tonight many of them don't have room for more dogs and cats, but every single day more and more show up. KCTV 5's Abby Dodge takes a closer look at just how many pets are waiting for a forever home. KC Pet Project is at capacity. Rows upon rows of kennels, each one full. You know, we're used to summer months being very, very busy. Uh, this has been more so than we've ever seen before. KC Pet Project runs Kansas City's animal control services, but the biggest increase isn't from strays they find on the street. They've seen a 53% increase in pet surrenders. Pet Project says recently affordable housing where pets are allowed is leading people to give up their furry friends. We've just sort of seen all of these reasons compound into this is really um, a crisis that's happening in Kansas City where people are having to give up the pet that they've had their entire lives here to the shelter because they can't find a place to live with them. Sometimes people just need time. That's where the Home Away From Home program comes in. They'll find someone to watch a pet in need for a few months while the owner gets their footing. We need more foster homes so we can help more people because right now the needs of our community far outpaces the resources that we can offer. In Spring Hill, Kansas, chimes greet you as you enter an oasis for dogs who are sick, abused, and abandoned. We tag the ones that are literally on their last few minutes. Jessica Broach now. Hi. 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 Runs daily operations uh, at Always and Forever Midwest day. Animal Sanctuary. She says an increase in people returning dogs has led them to develop a more rigorous adoption process. It makes you angry. It makes you sad. Jessica says as some pet owners go back to work, they're noticing behavior changes in their dogs, prompting some returns. You know, you get so used to having somebody there to talk to, to comfort you, um, give you attention, and then just like a snap of a finger, it's gone. They're not a perfect, perfect dog. They're perfectly imperfect. I mean, they have their flaws just like we do, like every dog does. Jessica says embracing those flaws creates a better environment for everyone and every dog. Abby Dodge, Casey, TV5 News.